Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinterestinglife.com. You're joining me on board good old Marabout Tilly and today we're going to have not so much a Filofax video as in look at the setup and how does it work but more of a general look in here and chat about what an organiser can actually tell you about yourself and your life and what you're living like and maybe where you need to spend more time or less time and so on. It's slightly more abstract than my usual notebook and organiser videos but I thought it was something that's quite interesting as I've only recently, as some of you will know, maybe about six weeks now been using my A5 Domino properly again. I did use this an awful lot a couple of years ago and now I've gone to different things and traveller's notebooks and all sorts of stuff as well as obviously Evernote, the ever-present, ever-mighty digital age. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting to get back to proper total paper-based organisation and see how many things that's brought up to light of my own life that I should be doing less of or more of. And maybe from having a chat about that, we shall discover things that you can think about too. Anyway, let's dive in. As I say, this isn't about the individual setup and I want to try and keep this nice and brief, maybe five, six, seven minutes or so, and just talk about what actually keeping a file of facts or organiser can show you about your life. So I started from the 1st of September trying to properly use the file facts. But as we were building up to that point over the end of August, you can see I started filling in an awful lot of stuff. Um, and basically, the first thing that I learnt and the first thing that you really need to gather and understand is that 1st of September rolled around. 2nd of September, a friend was unexpectedly taken straight to hospital. So immediately... The first day I was at work, so I couldn't really get up to much. The first day of proper, right then, let's plan and what are we going to do this week and get sorted. You have that total, completely out of nowhere, oh yeah, Dan, I'm going in hospital. So that immediately showed me, well, you can plan, but you can't control all events ever. And of course, things like that then start to throw all of the rest of the week out of uh, sync. And then when, again, in unbelievable bad luck, my family member suddenly also find themselves going into hospital unexpectedly. It's a, uh, well, that really was first week, second day, right, yeah, massive unexpected uh, drama happens. The following week, exactly the same happens halfway through the week. So lesson one is you can plan, but you can't control. So that's instantly the first thing I would say. Um, something else, as we can see, if we flip through here, what I've noticed is that I use this an awful lot and I put an awful lot of things down and because there is basically so much written down for a lot of these days I'm trying to schedule in things that I can't possibly complete all of the listed items because there's just so many of them all the time and when there's things like I mean, move the boat and things like that for example I mean uh, earlier in the month like one entire day was basically taken moving the boat 10 miles instead it was like right the boat's here, move it 10 miles, that'll take you about four, four and a half hours. Then obviously related to that, you've actually got the general stoppages and the general like tying up and then settling back in at the end of it and getting your tea on the go. So of course, again, things like this that I've realised is that I can write an awful lot down, but I can't complete it all. And that's something that I'm currently looking at sorting out and solving. And ultimately, I'm hoping to have fewer things listed in here, but maybe more details about each individual thing. Because what you're not seeing in here is any mention of all the writing that I do. Hope that the birds outside aren't getting on your nerves as well, I'll just throw that in. But what, what's not really listed here is any of the writing that I do. And I do an awful lot of writing. I'm currently in the very final stages of getting a little poetry anthology finished and ready. And this week I had to finally just write in a little bit of writing to just say, right, these last three days I have a big push and I can get the book almost certainly almost finished. So editing's been put in there just to sort of say, right, when I'm starting to write all these lists of, oh yeah, I'll do that, oh yeah, I'll do that, I think, no, actually, you've got an awful lot of stuff to do. Um, so writing isn't covered in here and I normally keep things like that really either in separate um, sheets in these back sections or in Evernote depending on what the uh, writing situation is and where I'm going to be doing it, what I want to get sorted. Um, and equally, although there's a lot of stuff in here about YouTube and all the YouTubing and videos that I do, 
There's not the actual proper long plans, which again go on A5 plain paper that I scribble out my little scenes that I want to film and the order and how they link together. I don't know if you've seen um, things like my Dan's Narrow About Life documentary series I'm currently creating. It's stuff like that that, again, you'll see, like, film for blah, 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 film this, film that, film in the kayak, film boat trip. But you won't have the proper full plan, which can sometimes, for a 25-minute video, be a good three, four, maybe even five sides of A5 paper like this. So that, again, is something that I've learnt, that, right, it's easy for me to write things down and go, yeah, this is what I want to get done, dusted and sorted, but there's not actually enough hours in the day to get all of that done. So schedule less, but schedule better, if that makes any sense. Uh, one of the things I do that I try and um, sort of work around overdoing it is all of the main things I want to get sorted in the week I write in this top notes area here whereas then as the week goes on I'll fill in the first few days and what I want to get done and then when I get to like each day I start planning ahead of right what am I not going to get done and what should I push back to these other days and as you can see it doesn't really as much as there's um, a lot of green crossings out and stuff here there's also a lot of things that don't get crossed out and that's something that I really need to look at but in terms of why it's actually showing me and telling me about my life in general it is as much as I love doing all this YouTubing and people have said to me quite often well you say you love it and that but you still it's what you spend all your time doing so just remember take a break and all of these things and um, when I actually look here and see just how much stuff that this is really mainly a YouTube file of facts when I actually look at it sensibly it's like I say, general life things, uh, odd jobs that need doing on the boat, moving the boat and meeting people up and general planning, things like that. But there is an awful lot of this that's YouTube related writing and filming. Um, but of course, actually seeing that written out in context of all the other things of my life, I can go, well, you know what? I really am doing YouTube stuff every day and I'm still not being able to do all of the things that I really want. So maybe do need to relax and just take it nice and slow a little bit um not necessarily post fewer videos but just try and do a lot more concentrated filming so i can have a few days of doing nothing at all but maybe getting boat things done or maybe getting writing done and all of that sort of stuff so again it's what you're spending your time actually doing but as part of that your file of facts is also going to show you by the things that are absent from it the things that you are not spending time doing so for example uh, i normally try and see my family very often and they live in town and so i get on my bike and luckily it's like right by where i work and all that so i can see them relatively often but we haven't really been doing like proper stuff and i haven't been stopping and having a uh, me evening meal there and things like that which again something like this is going yeah why haven't you come on, get your act together, more family time, and see your friends more often. Because over recent times, as much as all my friends are moving on to the night shift, and so uh, not very, not as free as they used to be to meet up, but because I've been uh, really sort of knuckling down with me writing and with me YouTubing, I have been coming out to the boat after work, and then maybe staying on board for a couple of days, and just uh, going out on my bike, doing me walks and me bike rides as I normally do, but just solidly focusing on writing, on YouTubing, and really doing things that are very sort of isolating, if that makes sense, which I'm happy with, but I know that there's got to be a balance. Anyway, I think I could witter on about all these random things non-stop. Those are just a few things. I've gone on far too long about just those few elements. Eight minutes long this section of video is. So I'm going to say on that note, thank you very much for watching. Hope that it's given you food for thought for you to sit down and look and go, oh yeah, I never mentioned this in the file of facts or oh goodness me, I'm always doing this. Perhaps I should do less of that and more of something else. So hope that it's given you a few ideas of things that you can look out look out for when you're looking at your own file of facts and maybe see little patterns emerging like I have. And um, on that note, I suppose I'll say thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to check out my other videos. I've got loads of notebook videos, all sorts of brands, all sorts of types of notebooks and organisers. And of course, I've got a load of Narrowboat Life videos. So please feel free to check those out. As always, subscribe, like the Facebook page and feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter if you would like to see all sorts of random photos and general canal life updates and if you really are um, 
feeling generous, then please feel free to check out my books about life on an airboat. You might be interested in my latest book, if you're interested in Philofax's diaries and notebooks. It's called An Airboat and a Notebook. It's only £1.53, and as the title suggests, there's a lot of uh, diary entries and general written things that I've scribbled in my notebooks over the two years that I've been living on board. Anyway, that seemed like quite a long pitch for that book. Check it out if you want. If not, keep it paper-based. Have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you around soon. Farewell.